time ago, in a faraway place, there was a time of peace when chivalry and honor ruled in a high court known as Camelot. I'd like to propose a toast to all you knights and lords of the round table who have sworn your lands and your castles to protect Camelot and to make for one true England. I pray this Christmas that we have seen the last of the petty wars among us. To Camelot! Hear him. Sit. Half of them would turn on me if I showed a day's weakness. The difficulty is knowing which half. You are not known to us, knight. Is not any knight welcome here? Any man is welcome in Camelot. Bring another plate. I have traveled from the sea to the next, looking for a knight who knows the meaning of the world's fair play. Then you have come to the right place. Camelot is the home of justice. If there is any man willing to take my challenge, then this, this kingdom stands above the rest. Make your challenge. Is there any man willing to take turns with me at the heading game? Allow me to chop off your head tonight. And one year from now, on Christmas Eve, you may chop off mine. <laughs> Some challenge. So, what, you would keep your promise to a dead man? I would. Would you? This is ridiculous. I suppose I reverse the terms, then. You chop off my head, and in one year, I will return and chop off yours. Now, what kind of trick is this? This isn't a real challenge. No knight would accept it. Arthur's knights are no braver than the others. You were supposed to be a king among kings. We cannot let this pass. I lose respect. I lose the peace. I accept. Who speaks? I did. Caradoc, I accept your challenge. A squire? Is this the best Arthur has to defend his honor? Silence! My nephew is not a knight yet, but he alone among you valued the honor of the court above his own. A bench. He knew the fate of Camelot lay in his hands. And though it meant his own death, he knew he must preserve the honor of King Arthur. And, and then what happened? And then... It was time for you to go home, Sam. And if you want to hear the end of the story, you can get your cousin Philip to bring you back next week. So what was it you were saying about preserving Arthur's honor? Well, Arthur wasn't just king, right? He was high king. The other kings in Britain agreed to let him rule over them because they believed he was more than just another man. And if Camelot was no better than the other courts, then Arthur would have no reason to have subjects. And there'd be no more peace. So someone had to rise to the challenge. My dad used to tell me a lot of stories about Camelot when I was a kid, but never heard that one. 
Well, it's not one of the more popular ones. My father used to read the stories to me. And his father before that, that's why I enjoy telling them myself. You know, every historian I know started out as a kid who loved adventure stories. Even my dad? Oh, yeah, especially your dad. Yeah, he was hoping you were going to get into it too. Right, well, I should get Sam home before it gets too late. Uh, and Mr. Jordan said it'd be great if your mom brought by some of that strawberry bread for the coffee shop. Mr. Jordan, the daytime manager, right? What's he doing talking to my mom? Well, when she was in there last week with that guy. <laughs> okay. He's tall. Uh, he was a cop. Um... Detective Saybrook. Yeah, yeah, that was his name. It's not a problem, is it? No. No, not at all. Hey, hey, hey! Hey. Are you making almond bars? And angel cake, and pecan pie, and maple sugar meringues uh, for the reception. I hope the guys at Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe appreciate them. It's Buckter, Caldwell, and Howe, and don't start. I know, we've been eating a lot of pizza lately. Hey, I like the pizza. I'm just so busy with the show. And catering and everything. Okay, you know what? I promise next week it'll be totally different. We'll have a real family dinner. So, Mom, anything new what? going on? You mean about Dad? No, I just thought that uh, police guy had some more information. Haven't heard anything? Why? No reason. If there's nothing going on, then why was she pretending like there was nothing going on? You do hear yourself, don't you? Creole, we gotta find Dad before it's too late. Well, I'm not arguing that. Actually, I've been looking through the database. It's trying to find, like, the common threads between the places we've looked. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what I have to touch to go in. I'll touch everything if I have to. Well, let me do some research first. What, while our family is falling apart? No. Penelope may have waited for Odysseus for 20 years, but she is a character in a story. Mom is real life. Penelope? You've been reading up? Well, yeah. I mean, I figure if I'm going to keep going into these things, I might as well know what's going on. Well, you probably know more than you think. I mean, these are the myths that everybody grows up on. That's what makes them so important. Good idea. Open Star Museum. Camelot. I see, Asher was right. Dad loved these stories, his father loved these stories. It's like a historical connection. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we're going to find him in there. Or the try. What's that thing? Queen Guinevere. Dad used to call Mommy's Queen. Yeah, well, let's hope he was wrong. Guinevere was no Penelope. She fell in love with Lancelot and brought down Camelot. Alex, that's not what's going on here. Maybe it is. freak out. You're fine. This is a famous story. It's Gawain and the Green Knight. Don't worry. Gawain keeps his head. Well done. Step forward and claim your reward. Well done. Royal Blessing.
Jesse. Excalibur. I think you should kneel. Kneel and be knighted. I dub thee Sir Caradoc, the loyal. the title, son. The honor of Camelot rests upon your word. Oops. Time skip. How long do you think? No, not that long. It's probably the same night. You know, the tables are still a mess and all the same decorations are up. Alex, look. Where? Behind you. It's the window you touched getting in. Already? That's weird. I know. It's never happened that fast before. Do you think you should touch it and come back? I just got here. I mean, I haven't even had a chance to see if there's any sign of Dad. I'm gonna take a look around. And you're in Camelot. <laughs> oh, did you find the Caradoc story? If you don't know it, call Max Asher. He does. Oh, it's right here in Bullfinch's Age of Chivalry. There's actually about ten versions of the beheading game. The most famous one is Gawain. He promises his head to the Green Knight, who spares him when he does the honorable thing and shows up to die. I know that one. I saw the movie with Sean Connery. But what about the Caradoc ending? Is it the same? Um... Okay. Caradoc was the son of Yzen, beautiful niece of Arthur. His father was unknown, yada, yada, yada. Okay, basically, he's about to be knighted when the stranger shows up and makes a challenge. And Caradoc's the only one who accepts. Preserve the honor of Camelot. Protect the peace. Exactly. And he puts his head on a bench to prove his courage. And the guy doesn't cut it off, right? Yeah, so it looks like you're pretty safe. And I'm in Camelot. is her favorite knight just got back from France. Oh. Lancelot. I guess she thinks no one knows. Welcome home. The court hasn't been the same without you. The lands in France won't manage themselves. Wherever I am, my heart is here. At the round table. Every day I was away, I thought about returning to Camelot. The king missed your counsel. And your good sword arm. And I shall remain here, where I belong. You missed the party. I was hoping my lady might save me a taste of roast goose. Come down to the kitchen. I'm sure we'll find something to your liking. Finds them together. Lancelot gets banished. And Guinevere sent to a convent. And the war starts again. Man, why does it have to be like this? Maybe it doesn't. Merlin. I've been waiting for you, Alex. What did you call me? You prefer Sir Alex. Everyone here calls me Sir Caradoc. I'm not like everyone else. And you're not Caradoc. How do you know that? 
I know a few things. Of course he knows. He's Merlin. He goes backwards through time. He knows the future and the past. You might know about Dad. Do you know who I am? Do you know my father, Matt Bellows? Do you know where he is? My vision isn't that, Paul Nelly. I know you're a man of good heart. I know you've come here in disguise. I know you want to save Camelot from destruction. So you know about Guinevere Lancelot? No need to be a magician for that. Everyone in court knows. Except the king. Why haven't you ever stopped it? Never had much luck changing fate. You throw a rock in the river, and the water just goes round it. The river doesn't stop flowing. If you throw enough rocks in a river, the course changes. The enthusiasm of youth! You think that's the only way to save Camelot? It's worth a try. Why? Why not just let fate take its course? Because it's Camelot. The real Sir Caradoc risked his neck to save the honor of this court. How can you just stand there while Guinevere and Lancelot do this? Maybe I can't do anything to change it. Maybe I think you can. Maybe I think that's the real reason you're here. That's not the reason you went there. How do you know? Trust me. I'm Merlin. I know things. This is exactly what I dreamed about. Many young clients have said the same. Okay, so what do I do? A Lancelot is a great knight. Maybe he only needs to be reminded of his duty. How do I do that? I've asked him to be your fight master. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Merlin. Merlin! See, you brought our king's brave nephew. The queen told me about your valiant deed. Valiant? Well, I wouldn't exactly call it valiant. Sword of Lance. Sorry? Uh, a sword? Right. That's a knight? Pardon? Uh, nothing, it's just, uh, it's not really the face of a knight. You look a bit young, don't you think? Oh, I'm sure that's why Merlin asked me to train you. We were all as young as you when we started, Caradoc. You'll learn a lot along the way. Show me what you know. Uh, well, there's, um... Not elegant, but it does the job. What else? Uh, Tiger Woods in a sand trap. <laughs> Defend yourself. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, man, slow down. I'm just learning. You're not swatting flies. Hold your ground. Get behind your sword. Start at the top. There you go. I did it. Well done, Sir Caradoc. Now let's try something a little harder. Let us show you. about you no. and Guinevere. There's nothing to know. The Queen's virtue is perfect. Yeah, but for how long? You are courting disaster, Lancelot. 
it's not just for you, it's for Guinevere, it's for Arthur, it's for the sake of Camelot. Is that what a great knight does? No. I know what my honor demands. I should turn in my sword. I should leave the country. I should give my life before I betray my friend, my king. So why don't you? This love is beyond all common sense. It's beyond honor. So, you think there's a way? Have you considered barricading him in his room? I can't believe you're seriously thinking about messing with this. I'm seriously trying to fix it. It's not gonna work. Winnevere and Lancelot are fated to be together. I mean, that's the whole point of the story. So you think there's a way to change this? I mean, what about fate? Fate is overrated. Get your best horse ready, Caradoc. A white heart was spotted in our forest this morning. First sign of spring. Oh, a heart is a male deer. I know, I read the stories, remember? Well, fine, then I'll shut up. Ah, the first birds of spring. A white heart in the forest, my dear, if I may have your favor for the chase. Always. To success. And your first hunt is a knight. <laughs> and may you find the heart you seek. The first flowers of spring are out as well. I'm taking my ladies to gather buds. If we may have some knights to accompany us. Of course, my queen. Every knight here is at your disposal. You'll just be rolling in the clover. I'll go. Be my honor. Any others? Oh, please. The queen should be accompanied by a senior knight of Camelot. Bring us back a crocus, Lancelot, and we will bring you a side of venison. My lord. No! I mean, um... It's not necessary, my lord. Back me up here. Sir Caradoc has my full confidence. My place today is by my king's side. Uh, the rest of you mount up. We are going hunting. A lot of parts going to be a full-time job. Well, no kidding. I mean, you are fighting to change a 1,500-year-old myth. I mean, I'd hope it wouldn't be too easy. Hey, see if you can find out exactly when and where Lancelot and Guinevere get together. Ah, one second. Looks like never. What do you mean? What about great love beyond honor? Nope. Forever frustrated. At least according to Bullfinch's Sir Caradoc story. Sir Caradoc helps the magician Merlin protect the Queen's honor and save Camelot. That wasn't in the story before. What do you mean? It's me. I'm the one protecting the Queen's honor. What? That's, that's not possible. Now it's in the books, just like it was always there. Cleo. It's working. I'm changing the myth. Oh! Oh! You are all my prisoners. Behind me, my lady. Draw your weapons! The Liga, you dare to threaten Arthur's queen? I've had my eye on you. Quite a while, my lady. 
waiting to get you out in the open without your brave, undefeatable Lancelot at your side. Oh no. This is all because of me. You're outnumbered and outmaneuvered. Surrender and you won't be harmed. You won't gain anything by this. Your ransom means freedom from my oath of fealty to Arthur. Take her over my dead body. Rather not. Don't press me, Gareth. Stop! My lady, no! Leave my knights alive and I'll go with you. We fight to the death. I command you to live. We are your prisoners. This is all my fault. Get Asher. So how far up track are we? Well, I asked Ash to bring over his Camelot books. Geoffrey of Monmouth, the 12th century monk that first collected the stories. It changed, too. This is incredible. Well, how can what he does in there change history? Well, it's not history, Cleo. It's myth. It's not the past. It's our present and our future. This is all my fault. I convinced Lancelot not to come. I got Guinevere kidnapped. Wait, wait a minute. That's the story of Lancelot and the cart. Lancelot is off hunting, and Guinevere gets kidnapped by Meligra and his men. What do you mean, so it didn't change anything? No, no I, I don't think so. Um, Guinevere sends one of the girls from her retinue away from the castle with a ring to Lancelot. Lancelot writes to the rescue, and, well, you know the rest. What if I take the ring to Arthur instead? He'll ride to the rescue, save the day, she'll fall in love with him, that's the way it should be. Look, you, you, you can't keep meddling with this. You can't tell me you wouldn't try. Alex, this isn't about Arthur or Camelot. You're just worried about Mum and Detective Saybrook, who, for your information, is no Sir Lancelot. <laughs> the tragic love of Lancelot and Guinevere is the very essence of our modern concept of romance. If you pull one thread, you unravel the entire tapestry. And if you change that, who knows what else you'll be changing without meaning to. I'll risk it. You'll affect me. I'm going to help my queen. Excuse me. Your Highness. My God. It's Guinevere. He's talking to Guinevere. If you give me a ring, as a token, I'll sneak out of here and bring back help. Yes. Bring help. Bring Lance. Don't say anything. Taken by Maliga. What just happened? Oh, it's, it's a time skip. It sometimes happens. The myth moves forward a couple of hours or a couple of years. You get used to it. I always knew he was trouble, but I never thought he would have the nerve to do this. I wasn't there to protect her. There are a dozen or so guards who'll have to come in force. I'll go. Lancelot, no. Guinevere will be home safe by tonight. Bring my horse! Right after him, Caradoc, while I gather the men. Oh, pass me the meat. Leave off, my lady. My men are hurt. They'll live. Why do you want to bring war back to our land? Where's glory without it? I'm here as Lady Guinevere's champion. Who dares face me? I saw it! I'll show you this.
Try the golf swing. All right. I did it. I never taught you that. Lancelot? Lay down your sword, and she lives. Take your hands off the queen, and you live. You would risk her life. She won't be your prisoner. We both live or die here. of the round table, Chloe. Fighting fair is more important than winning. Exactly the same as if I were never here. I didn't change anything. Arthur saw Lancelot and Guinevere. Lancelot vanished to France. Guinevere's off to a convent. And this is the end of Camelot. Just like that. Well, at least you're there. You got to live it. So, what's it like? Being in an elevator with the cables cut. Okay, time to touch the window and come home. Get it! Right. Get it! What's going on? You stand accused of treason against king and country. Leo, what's going on? The book. It's changing again. Master Caradoc gets arrested for helping Lancelot. What do I do? I was really hoping you were going to find a way to keep those two apart. But nothing seems to stop them rushing towards their fate. No matter what we do about it. Yeah, only this time Sir Caradoc winds up in a dungeon. Is it me? Hmm. That is a different version of the story. Now, 
Where do you suppose Arthur got that idea? I thought you knew everything. Oh, legends get boring when they get set in stone. Don't you think? This one's so much more interesting now that no one knows how it's going to end. <laughs> Gorgos. Oh my God, it's him. Gorgos? My story is not that different from his. Tell some people some things they don't want to hear. You wind up spending a thousand lifetimes trapped inside a mountain. Ask him about Dad. Where is my father? Ah, uh, he's around. All this time I thought you were helping me. <laughs> well, I was helping you. Helping me to wreck this myth. Asher was right. You messed this up. You messed the story up for everyone who grew up with it. That's what you want, isn't it? Well, I'm just stirring the pot a little. But you failed, Gorgos. I never changed the fate of Camelot. That really doesn't matter. You change yours. Oh, the king wants to see you. No! No! Cleo, what did he mean? What happens to Kirdok now? So Kirdok is drawn and quartered for treason. That's not how it ends. Kirdok offers up his head and lives. Well, Korkos changed all that. My help! Look, just get to the stained glass window and get out of there. Before you could change back. Bring forth the traitor Caradoc. I have a favor to ask. I trusted you. And you helped Lancelot betray me. I was trying to protect you. Please, just listen. A year ago I promised my head on a block to that night. You told me that the honor of Camelot was in my hands. Time to die today. Let me die for the honor of Camelot like I promised. I am ready, my lord, to keep my word. Let him have my head. Let that be how this day goes down in history. If anything proves your honor, Caradoc, it is this. But he worked against you. He is my niece's son. I helped raise him from a baby. You die today no traitor, no prisoner, but a knight of the round table. Release him. It's a true knight. I am Eliorus, the unknown. When I first came to Camelot, it was to test Caradoc. He's no traitor. You all saw what he did. He's as brave a man and as true to his word as any knight in this court. Approach Sir Caradoc the Loyal. If the 
bards tell tales of Camelot, I hope they will tell yours. I'll be telling tales of Camelot for a long time, Your Highness. I promise you that. I hope you are right. This court will not last forever, but it will always be worth remembering. Save Camelot. He's just dead. You help make sure that Camelot will live forever. Long live Camelot. I pretended to be on your side. Why would he want that, though? I don't know. Just ornery, I guess. Or maybe he wants revenge on the gods who imprisoned him. Or maybe he knows that if the world loses its myths, it loses everything. Cleo, do you remember when I was getting Eurydice out of Hades? And had that voice? I think it was Dad. Do you think he was trying to warn us? I think so. Not to change the myth. You're risking your lives. And you're risking human mythology. If you change it too much, the world that we know will disappear. But Dad's in there. And Gorgos. Nothing is safe until we get him back inside his bottle. If Matt was here to pick between your lives and his, he'd tell you to never turn that computer on again. Max, we're not going to abandon our father. We couldn't do that to him, nor to Mom. We won't do it. I am so stuffed. Oh, Mom, that was great. If you have bad news, this would be the time to break it to us. She's kidding. Well, actually, there is one thing. Almond bars. It's not a family dinner without them. Remember when I had the flu and your dad tried making them? Oh, yeah, and he replaced the icing sugar with baking soda. Man, those were bad. Mm. I'll get it. Hi, Lily. Do you have a couple minutes? Detective Saber, come on in. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt your dinner. Well, actually, we're just sitting down to dessert. You want to join us? Oh, uh, no, thanks. I, I just wanted to give you this. John, it's really lovely. Hmm. Listen, are you sure you don't want to join us? You know what my desserts are like. Well, yeah, do I ever, but no. Some other time. Okay. Thanks. See you around. Yeah. What was that about? Nothing. I have those almond bars. Mom, what did he give you? Filthy said he saw you two at the coffee shop the other day. Alex, Mom, it's just that we... <laughs> Cleo, it's okay. I'm catering the captain's retirement party. You mean that was just work? This is just work. This, this is the gold watch that they're giving him, and they want me to fix a fancy basket for it. Guys. You know I'm always telling you not to be concerned about dating and couples and stuff like that. Yeah? Because I, I want you to be patient. The right person is out there waiting for you. And when you meet them, you will know. Just like I knew when I met your dad. And I'm not looking for anybody else. Oh, God, sweetie, come on. Guys, oh. Okay, let's have some almond bars. Oh, sounds good. 
here. <laughs>